PIP or PIP stands for picture in picture, and it's used heavily for things like tutorials, courses, and presentations. You know what else PIP or PIP is good for? Live streaming. That's right, live streaming. And I'm excited to share that StreamYard has added PIP or picture in picture as the eighth layout in the platform. We'll look at PIP and a few other StreamYard features in today's video. I'm Kirk Nugent, your live video coach. And on this channel, I show you how to use live streaming to grow and engage an audience, funnel clients to your business, or establish yourself as a thought leader. And today, yes, we're back on looking at some of our StreamYard stuff. And we're looking at StreamYard's latest feature ads and how you'll wanna think about using them in your live video journey. Stay with us until the end, where we'll share some exciting features on their product roadmap that are coming soon. So here we are on my desktop looking at StreamYard. The first thing I wanna show you, first update that I wanna share with you is that they've increased recording limits. Let's take a look at that real quick. So here we're looking at the plans. Uh, you, if you go into your account, you'll see um, you, what your account is set to, which, which account you've subscribed to. Um, and then you can actually look at other plans. And here in these plans, you have an itemized list of all the different things that those plans include. Um, and the one that I wanna show you here is recording limits. This, this section here on both the basic and pro plans have changed. And so on the pro plan, you now have 10 hours uh, 10 hours of recording, 10 hours of streaming. And the basic plan, you have six hours, six hours of recording, six hours of streaming. Again, this just kind of opens things up. Um, a lot of times that was a struggle or a challenge. One thing, one thing I want to point out here is that if you do any streaming uh, of pre-recorded events, let's say you, uh, you already streamed something, you want to then take it and stream it again, um, this limit is really good because if you were to try to upload an actual video, you do not have the ability to upload uh, videos that are six or, or 10 hours. But if they were already recorded or streamed with StreamYard, then you can stream that again in the system because that video is there. And we'll get to that in a second when we look at the video library with bulk delete. Back on the StreamYard uh, main screen here, you'll notice maybe you did, maybe you didn't, I don't know, but right here on the top, right, right in this top section here, there is another, uh, uh, there's another option. So we used to just have broadcasts and destinations. Now we have videos. We click on this videos tab, you, you will see all of the videos that you have either streamed or recorded with StreamYard. And so, as I mentioned before, if you have streamed it or recorded it with StreamYard, let's say it was a four hour thing, you can then take it from here and, and stream it again if you would like to. So uh, these are all some of the things that I've done. Here's a four hour video. This video would not upload if I wanted to stream it again, but here I have the option of actually taking that video and streaming the recording, selecting my destinations and going for it. So that's a little hack that I wanna make sure that I throw in there. But yes, you have the ability to kind of come in here, see where all of your videos are. You can quickly select several of them if you wanna clean it up. If you notice here, you have your recording storage in the bottom corner. Um, and it'll tell you how many hours of the 50 that you have. And if you want to add more, you can click that there as well. I kind of covered this in a, one of my previous update videos, but I wanted to kind of touch it again because it's, it's still fairly new. Um, and I'm glad that they've added this function for us. Instead of them choosing which videos stay, which videos go, they give you a certain block of hours that it's you know, based on your plan. And then you can decide which ones you want to save, which ones you want to get rid of. Um, and, and again, some of this will also be determined based on whether you're embedding them on another uh, site, if the, that's what you're going to do. And in order to do that, you just hit the three buttons here and you can go to embed and share. And you have the option to just go ahead and click this to copy this link, share it with friends, share it with somebody who you want to be able to review it. Let's say you're a remote producer and you want to be able to send this link to the client to say, he here's the finished product. Um, maybe they, you want them to watch it before it streams. This is a great feature to have. Or maybe you just want to keep it right here and 
and you would want to share it privately for your business or whatever. Uh, let's say it's a tutorial, something like that. But if you want to embed it, you just click on the embed screen here or bed option, I should say, embed tab. And then you can do responsive or fixed, whichever one doesn't matter. But with fixed, of course, you can set the size responsive. You just copy the entire code, drop that on your website and you'd be good to go. The next two features we're gonna show bring us into the actual studio, the StreamYard studio, that's where we are now. And before I get to picture in picture, which is the crux of our video, I know that's the feature that we talked about at the beginning, I wanna show you bulk uploads, which is equally as important because especially if you have been using StreamYard for some time, you know that it has been annoying to upload one at a time, one at a time. Now they have the ability, they've given us the ability to do bulk upload. And let me show you how that looks. So here are some overlays that are already added into the system. I'm going to go to go ahead and add some more. Um, here's one face cam. And all I got to do is hit the shift key and hold down the, the click, hold it down to click all of the ones that I want to select. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then the share screen. And I think that does it. I'm going to hit open there and you'll see all of them are uploading right now. All of them are uploading right now. And they, now that they've uploaded, you'll see that they're all here. They're all available. And I can then start using them in the system. Um, you can also do bulk upload for video clips. And so again, these are for the same client. Um, I've got the bumper for the panel, the countdown clock, the speaker bumper, credits, intro, and several other speaker bumpers. I've got a speaker bumper for all of them. And then we just click on open. Now this is gonna take a little bit longer and we're, we're gonna to touch on our other feature while this continues to upload. But I just want you to see it all happens just like this. Now, somebody's gonna ask, I know it in the comments, you're gonna say, can you do bulk delete? Unfortunately, you cannot. But what I can say is you do have the ability to move these around into whatever order you, you know, make sense for you. Let's say I want the share screen on the bottom. I want these to be in order, so I'll put the, the one at the top, I'll put two second. So one, two, then we have three, four, five, six. Then we have the share screen. So I can shift the order, but I cannot delete multiple assets at a time. So they've given us bulk upload and we're excited about that, especially for getting things set up, but we do not have bulk delete. But if you're like me and you do these for clients and they're one off, just delete the whole brand, right? So that that part is it does make it easier. So I can delete the whole brand, but I cannot, you know, upload the whole brand at once. So having this bulk upload is really helpful. Now I have all my video assets in the system and I'm ready to go. The last thing I want to show before we get into some of the product roadmap items, features that are not quite here yet is the picture in picture. Uh, this this feature that you see here, it is on the bottom and you can see that it is set in inside the screen share options, right? So these are the screen share options. And we wanna make sure that you understand that the, so they, it's gonna be based on you sharing something into the system, sharing either a, a, a screen or sharing a video. And so we're gonna share, um, I'm gonna share my screen. I'm gonna share a Chrome tab actually. Uh, here we go, share my website. And there it is on the bottom. You can see it's there. I'm gonna add that to the stream and you can see, boom, we're in picture in picture. And if you have other people in the system, you can stack them across the bottom. And so this will be really good again for, you know, different kinds of tutorials, different things that you might be wanting to do or show, even even like videos like this one <laughs> where you're showcasing a product and you want to show show off some things while you're still in the shot. This is a, a really good layout. I'm glad that they've added this one and I hope that you can find some really cool uses for it, um, even including recording for classes uh, or courses. Uh, definitely, definitely something to think about. So even as you look to do your live streaming, this could be something useful, but you could also use it just to record content, send it to clients after the fact. Keep those in mind, especially when you consider that you have the embed option and you have the share option, right? You don't even have to upload this to anywhere, YouTube or anywhere else. You can send these directly to people um, and have them be able to watch it right from your screen. The next thing I want to show, of course, is some of the product roadmap features that are um, coming down the pike. Several of them have been shared. I mean, 
uh, StreamYard in the last couple of town halls has been really talking about a lot of different things that they've been doing. And I want to show you the first one, the biggest one, in my opinion, is hotkeys. Now, I'm going to show you my settings screen. If I go to cam mic here, uh, you'll see general camera, audio, green screen, guests. And that's all that most of us have right now. That's all that most of us have right now is these settings. We do not have the ability to uh, see hotkeys like they do. But let me show you what that looks like. So this is a screenshot that I grabbed from the StreamYard Town Hall. And they were showing hotkeys and this is this is what the how the hotkeys will be implemented um it'll be right on this same screen right under guests you'll see it there and you will have the ability to fully customize your hotkeys and this this is this opens a lot of windows and doors <laughs> it opens a lot of options for folks especially those who have been screaming about getting their their stream deck fully integrated with StreamYard, this could be the beginning steps of being able to do that. Now, there's still going to be some manual things and look for some some videos coming down the pike. I'm hoping to get access to the feature within the next few days here. So look for some content around this as we close out the year. But hotkeys is a thing we, we can see it now. It's it's not a concept. We can physically see it in action. And I think that's going to be really great. The other, the next um, thing that they've been talking about on the product roadmap is teams. Uh, teams is something that they've been talking about. And I want to show that to you. Here is a screenshot of the same, you know, videos screen that I shared with you earlier in this video. But if you look on the top left of the screen, um, instead of three, right? We had broadcast videos and destinations. Notice that he has one that says members. And this is how Teams is being implemented. When you have a team, you see at the top there, it says gauges crew. When you have StreamYard Teams enabled, you'll have your team, let's say my business is called Composition. So I'd have Composition Team or K Media is what I usually call myself. Um, and, and we would then have this team aspect and people be able to upload assets and take care of different functionalities for uh, different live streams. And that this is this is amazing. And I'm excited about this because, again, I use this platform heavily for client projects, client remote productions and things like that. So excited to be able to share this with you. Um, the other few options and items that they have coming that I'm just going to stay on this screen to talk through is background music is in testing right now so somewhere in probably this screen here we will see a background music option or maybe it might we don't know how they're going to implement that this is something that they talked about in the town hall and we're excited to be able to see what that actually is going to look like um, they also talked about some video editing features so if we were to kind of go back to that other screen right this one here um, these are videos in this is a videos and gauges uh, um, his, his, his library his video library if 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 we had videos that we've already done and you want to just trim off let's say the countdown clock and do some very simple editing features they're looking to add some of that functionality to the platform so that we can we don't have to pull it down edit it put it back up there are things that we could be able to do i know that for me when i'm going to restream a a, a pre a product that has already been streamed before sometimes there's little things that i'd like to clip out and i'm excited that they're that, that is already in their minds they're already working hard on trying to get some of these functions and features into the system and the last one of course i absolutely love the uh giveaway tool the the giveaway tool is something that i love but people have wanted it to be fully integrated into the platform. So we don't know where they're gonna put it, whether they put it here or they put it in here, uh, but they're, they're looking to integrate the giveaway tool a little more fully as an option in the system, not something that you have to use a screen share for. So keep those in mind. Those are some really exciting things that are coming in the future. <laughs> so just to recap, we, we've looked at Picture in picture or PIP, as, as everybody calls it, bulk upload, new recording limits and video library with bulk delete. Right. 
Um, we've also looked at and talked about some hot items on their product roadmap, like fully customizable hotkeys. This is one of my personal favorites. StreamYard provided background music. We're not sure how they're going to implement that, but that could be really good. We've looked at teams and for the remote producers, this one is one we've been eyeing for a while. Simple video editing features right there in the platform in your video library and an integrated giveaway tool that doesn't require screen share. Um, man, these, it's a lot there. It's a lot there. If, if we get half of these features, this platform will literally go to the next level. So yo, let me know in the comments how you plan to use some of these features. I know I've got several ideas, but I would love to hear what yours are. One of the questions I often get is about creating courses. And this new feature from StreamYard is great for that purpose, right? Picture in picture. Uh, I would love to hear your feedback on courses, right? Let me know in the comments if course related content is something you're interested in. I'm currently in the process right now, working on a number of things related to courses, and I'm currently looking at my content creator calendar for 2022. So let me know if something along the lines of Kajabi um, or course content, course creation, course format would be useful for you. Uh, but speaking of content, right? Content schedule. Up next, we'll be looking at bumper videos, bumper videos and how we can use them in StreamYard to do scene changes and just to create an, an overall smoother viewing experience for your audience. Be sure to subscribe so you'll know and be notified when that video is available or when we go live. It's your boy, Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher, hoping that somewhere in the video today, somewhere as we looked at these new features, functions, all the stuff that StreamYard is packing into the platform, that you were able to figure out how it all works. And I'll see you in the next video.